So, Bill, you're chasing the story. Uh, we heard about it last week about the Army officer went to Korea, got married, but he had a wife and kids at home. I have new details for you from the Army themselves. They said that any further action on Sergeant Scott Fuller's case would be subject to SOFA, which is the status of forces agreement between the United States and Korea. In Sergeant Fuller's case, they allowed the Korean government to have jurisdiction over his case. They are not doing anything right now, so the U.S. Army, because of that agreement, is also not stepping up. Turns out this is not the only case of bigamy in the U.S. Army. There was a big case in 2012, and I got an exclusive interview with Chris Johnson. I just wanted to trust him because I always had. I never had any reason to not trust him. Her husband, Colonel James Johnson, the son of a three-star general, very high ranking in the Army, was convicted of bigamy, fraud, and for conduct unbecoming of an officer and a gentleman. She sent me these pictures showing his Iraqi wife. He met this Iraqi woman in 2005. He came back from Iraq, exchanged sexy text and email messages with her. Her family had then left Iraq and was living in the Netherlands in a UN refugee camp, and they began a sexual affair. He went over to Europe and saw her. He actually used government resources, military vehicles, government money for his mistress at the time. I met his mistress. He insisted on having a holiday party and had me host her and her family over a holiday weekend. And it was then that I figured out what was going on. He ended up marrying this Iraqi woman in 2011. I devoted my time and energy in life to supporting his career and our military family. And I don't regret that, but it was the most devastating thing. I gave up any chance of having my own career, raised our children. My ex-husband's court-martial trial was held in June 2012. But he only got a reprimand and a fine for $300,000. This is a recognized problem that you know, service members kind of get away with misconduct. I thought the military court was the strictest court in the land, stricter than, you know, our courts are. And I, you know, I feel good about that. If you are reprimanded by the military, I leave it in their hands. But I'm really disappointed to hear that he got kind of grandfathered in and got a lesser punishment. What Chris is trying to do now, she's trying to get legislation passed that would separate spouses from military personnel so that if they're prosecuted for a crime, the family doesn't pay well, the price. Well, the obvious question is, would she be happier if he were sitting in a prison and she was devoid of all that money? I say firing squad, just me. Oof, oh. that's rough. Thanks, Abil.